really honored and blessed to at least even have this time period beforehand to get to talk to Shay. So she's got some really cool, awesome stories to share. So I hope you guys um, will be inspired, empowered to uh, do things here at Science and Math. And also, you know, since it's sponsored by the Food Drive, hopefully this will encourage you to uh, do for the Food Drive so that we can continue to help others like Shay does. Um, because, you know, as you'll find out from Shay, the power of one person can do many, many things. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Shay, um, but first, um, tomorrow is Shay's birthday, um, and Shay is turning 25 years old. It's old. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's old. Um, so um, we have cake, if you would like cake, um, and I'm not going to sing because I don't sing, um, but you guys can sing happy birthday Aww. to Shay so that she'll get a happy birthday song to her, So because who knows where she'll be at tomorrow. Um, so on the count of three, you guys can start singing, okay? Wait, how's it recording? All right, ready? Are you going to videotape it? I am. Okay. I am. Wait, so you to get, get I'm ready. good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yes. So, all right, ready? <laughs> One, two, three. You can open it later, Thanks. but there's a gift from the food drive committee for you, and of course, some dogs and uh, bones for uh, Zuzu. So. And you guys, Zuzu's in the truck, so you know, I if you want to go for a pet afterwards, you know, I don't think she would be opposed to any loving. Right. So. All right. It's all you. Thanks. So. And I'll right, give cool. you the, the heads up when it's. Like, okay, yeah, just wave at me. Hi, guys. Okay, so like she said, my name's Shay Kelly. And first I want to like thank you guys so much for all of this. Like this is amazing. This is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Um, I was told 204 pairs of socks and about 300 canned food items. So like give yourselves a round for that because that is awesome. Like that's really good work. Thank you so much. Um, so I want to tell you like a little backstory about me and who I am. I don't know, some of you might know. Like you might have seen some stuff about it online, but for those of you who don't, like I want to tell you kind of how I got here and what I'm doing. Like I'm going to all 50 states in the U.S. in 50 weeks, and I do things like food drives and I distribute socks to the homeless, like in different communities. And to kind of tell you why I decided to do that, um, in 2009, like she said, I'm about to turn 25, so I'm an old lady, but. <laughs> Um, I graduated college in 2007 with a bachelor's degree in photojournalism, and I worked in marketing. I went into marketing, corporate America, um, climbing the corporate ladder, and all of that. And I, I did that because when I was young, when I was in high school actually, so about your guys' age, I made, I was given some kind of, I guess, wrong information, and I was given the impression that for me to, like, do any good in the world, that I had to be really wealthy, that I had to be really rich. Like, I don't know if any of you have ever felt that way, but we kind of are told that, like, we, we see philanthropists, like, on TV, like, I'm sure some of you know what that means, like, people who are out there saving the world. And there are people like Bill Gates and, like, Oprah Winfrey. They're people with tons of money. And it kind of gives you the impression that you have to be that if you're going to help anybody. And I've always had a save the world complex. Like, I've always wanted to help everybody and do whatever I can anywhere. But, but I always thought I had to be rich first. So based on that idea, um, after college, I decided to go into corporate America and I took a job in marketing that I thought would basically get me rich as quickly as possible. Um, so I took a job in South Carolina. And from there, I relocated to Jackson, Mississippi. And I was climbing this corporate ladder. And I was doing really well. I was really successful. Like by the time I was 23, I was the partner of a marketing firm. So I was, I was doing good. And I was making good money. But I wasn't very smart. And I didn't save any money because um, I was young. And so I made some kind of stupid financial decisions. But right around in 2009, shortly after I relocated to Jackson, my firm went bankrupt. The economy took a nosedive, you know, and the recession hit. And it was like one bad, bad break after the other. 
and by February the the firm had collapsed which basically meant that I lost my job just like that and my roommates were co-workers of mine so we all lost our jobs together and they all went back to their respective hometowns and I was left trying to pay the rent on a four bedroom apartment by myself which doesn't work with no job and um, I ended up getting evicted my car got stolen because I was in Jackson Mississippi which isn't necessarily a safe place to be but my car got stolen and it was just it was a whole bunch of like if you've ever had like one bad thing happen and then a bunch of other things like sometimes it just kind of seems to keep coming and that's really what happened to me and before I knew it I was 23 and I didn't have anywhere to stay and I didn't have anywhere to go and I kind of experienced homelessness firsthand um, the crazy thing is some people look at me and they're like you're not the face of American homelessness but actually I am like you just never know it can happen to anybody like here I followed like this perfect American equation for success you know I graduated high school I went to college I got the the bachelor's degree I graduated top of my class I got the good job I climbed the corporate ladder I made it to partner of a marketing firm I was making good money and I still at the end of it all ended up homeless so it can happen to absolutely anyone so if you see people like out on the street that are like sleeping on the sidewalk and stuff um, refrain from judgment <laughs> because you just don't know how many bad breaks that person had before they ended up in that situation but at that point in my life like when you when you like lose everything you have a couple choices you can look at your life and you can say oh woe is me and have this big pity party and say like my life is terrible and this isn't fair and you can feel sorry for yourself or you can kind of look at it as an opportunity to make a different choice like you're, you always have another choice you always have another option like a really intelligent person told me once that like there's no shame in falling down it's laying on the floor that makes you look bad <laughs> and I totally agree with that statement like I wasn't gonna lay on the floor I wasn't gonna just like wander around on the streets of Jackson, Mississippi for the rest of my life. Um, someone gave me a skateboard. I was very blessed with a skateboard and I started skateboarding around town. I met a guy that let me, a kind guy that I made friends with that let me sleep on his couch. I just started taking like one leg up at a time and slowly but surely I found a waitressing job. I started saving my tip money and I decided I was going to take this really bad situation and I was going to figure out how to turn it into something good. Um, I guess I was also looking at the fact that I had been trying to get rich for so long and that was my focus was getting rich making money me 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 take 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 and I lost everything so I figured maybe I needed to shift my focus to instead of take 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 maybe I needed to focus on giving like how much can I give how much can I give and what will happen to me when I do it kind of like a social experiment like I, I, was, I had already faced the fear of losing everything. Like we, we, could do, we make a lot of decisions in life based on the fear of losing stuff. But I had already faced that fear. Like I already knew what it was like to not have a bed and to not have a place to take a shower and to not have a car. So I figured like I faced that, like what else can really happen? Like how much worse can it get? I'm just gonna try, I'm just gonna like toss the routine up in the air and I'm gonna try to do something off the wall. And I had this idea to go to all 50 states in the US in 50 weeks and help people along the way. It was kind of like a my dream meets very real needs of the people in, in America. Like I understood homelessness because I was in it, so I knew what we needed. Like homeless people need things like socks, which is amazing. Like socks are like gold on the street. It, that might sound crazy, but if you talk to like a military person, they'll tell you the same thing. Like nobody wants to have wet feet. It rains, they live outside, so their feet get wet. It's not a good situation. So socks, I swear, like try it sometime, I don't know, just take, take a thing of socks, go into an inner city somewhere, find some homeless people, go to a shelter, go to a soup kitchen, see what happens. Like when you take socks, like everybody needs a pair. It is literally, it's like currency. So I figured out what things people needed and also food. I understood what it was like to go hungry. You guys are doing a food drive thing constantly, which is really, really cool because hunger should not be something that we deal with in America.